What's up everybody? Welcome back to another comic book review. My name is Chris and today I have John Wick issue number two. Um, not to be confused with John Wick number two, the movie, which is actually good. Uh, this is not. Um, <laughs> it, I, I've waited like six months, maybe five, but it felt like a year for this to come out. I don't even remember what the fuck happened in the first one, to be honest. Um, I'm, I'm kind of pissed that it took so long to get out. And I, like, I can, I can understand some of these, um, shorter run indie titles, which I mean, dynamite is, yeah, I, I would consider it indie, but in reality, um, they make quite a bit of money. So, you should be able to get your shit straight. But I can look past the the release weight for most books. But for this, it was garbage. I, uh, I really enjoyed the cover. <laughs> That's about it. Um, it, was, it actually, I was into it for the first third the dialogue was okay, I guess. It, it wasn't it wasn't great, but it was okay. It was a little better than the first one, the first issue. Because it wasn't very good either, the dialogue in it. It was weird. Um, but the first third of this, the dialogue was okay. From from then on, it, it, was, it just got worse. And worse and worse and worse. The art is passable in some panels and downright just atrocious in others. Like, some of this stuff could be sketched by a, a teenager that is just kind of good at drawing. Like, it's, it's pre it gets pretty bad. There's a few... And, you know, sometimes... Sometimes I don't mind... Um, sketchy art. Um, Frank Miller's had quite a few books that he's done that have been kind of sketchy. And I enjoyed them. But they had the story and the dialogue and everything that this does not. It, it's just bad. It's just really bad. Um, I hate to give much more attention to it. <laughs> If you if you have to have the cover, if you've got to have it just because of the cover, I can understand that. Because I'm going to keep this. I mean, the cover looks cool. Just like uh, issue number one. The cover looks cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be getting number three because this was so bad that it just... I want to take it off my pull list. I actually forgot that it was on my pull list because it had been so damn long. Um, rating, I would give it a, a three out of 10 and that's being generous. I think, uh, just because the, the cover is dope. The cover looks really cool. Uh, and the, the there's a jock cover too. I didn't know that or I would have friggin' tried to get it, but it's, it's cool too. Um, I don't like the the real pictures for covers. I'm not I'm not really keen on those. So, but there are the three. There's this one, which it is done by Giovanni Valletta, which which is crazy. He's the guy who did the art. Um, sorry if you're watching this, but this is amazing. The rest of this is garbage. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know if you can tell how bad that is. It, like, you can barely make out people's faces that, like, and the, even John Wick, there's only a few panels where he actually drew his face. The rest of them, they're just shadows. Everyone's a shadow. 
I don't understand if maybe he signed on to do this and just didn't want to do it. I don't know. But the art, the cover is amazing. The same guy that did the inside did this. That's that's crazy. It's like he, it's like he just had to uh, fulfill a a contract that he signed. But I don't know. Um, yeah, it sucks. It's really bad. I would uh, I would not buy this unless you just have to have the cover, which. Oh, some people do. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, um, please hit like and subscribe. And if you don't like it, then hit dislike and leave me a comment telling me how stupid the video was.